Hello nurses, this is Camp with Nursing Camp, and this is Cardiac Camp. This is my medications on ACE inhibitors. Uh, it's part of my A, B, C, D, E medications. Uh, this is ACE inhibitors, and based on this sticky note. That's found on nursingcamp.com, also Pinterest, Facebook. Please follow me, like me, and do the same. Okay, let's get into it. ACE inhibitors. Well, the first thing with ACE inhibitors is that when you're looking at ACE inhibitors, the biggest problem is that all blood pressure medications do not stop, right? We don't stop them abruptly because that's a stop sign, sure. Um, we don't stop them abruptly because of rebound hypertension um, and problems, okay? So let's look at the, the medications and let's talk about ACEs. All right, so ACE inhibitors. What's the, there's a mnemonic for this, and that mnemonic is ACE King High in April. Okay, let's run through it. All right, well, April is for prills, so ACE April, Lysepix, so ACE April, Lysinopril. So ACE King high in April. That tells you that it's an ACE inhibitor. Okay, ACE inhibitors are, are chronic medications. And they're chronic because they are, you don't call the doctor up at 2 o'clock. Hey doc, you know, uh, can I get some lisinopril stat? You don't do it, right? So it is a chronic medication. All right, so how does it work? Well, ACE inhibitors work by uh, the renin-angiotensin system, and basically it stops it right at the beginning. So a lot of times what I think about with ACE inhibitors is, is that renin-angiotensin system from the kidneys and in the vessels, it's like as if a person's running down the hill. Okay, well, holy crap. This person's running down the hill, and um, what you do with ACE inhibitors is you stop them at the top. Okay, so they stop here, and they're not already in the motion. So you're stopping this angiotensin renin system, and you're stopping it from the top. So that's the first key. What do we monitor with it, right? So how does it work? It stops at the top of the renin angiotensin, and we monitor for angioedema. Well, angioedema is acute because angioedema is basically... swelled up face okay so they're really swelled up and they're, they're they get laryngeal spasms they're they can't get the airway in so that's acute so airway is number one so taking ace inhibitors they're at risk for angioedema that's a doctor's call that's stop medications that is acute because this you can't keep on giving lisinopril if this is happening so angioedema next one cough this is annoying. They get this kind of cough that's going on, and it has to do with the uh, histamine and all that stuff. It's not that important. The big key is that they get this annoying cough. Well, what they generally would do is, is that you would then switch them, change them to an ARP from there. Okay, That's the second line medication. First line is an ACE inhibitor. And then if they can't tolerate it because of coughing, they are switched to an ARB. And we talked about that in a previous lecture, orthosartan, right? Losartan. And the main risk for ARBs is orthostatic vital signs. And the reason that orthostatic vital signs, because we just talked about ACE inhibitors. And ACE inhibitors, you know, you're worried about this hill. Remember, we stop them up here. Well, the interesting thing about ARBs is... They're already running down the hill, okay? So they're running down this hill, and an ARB says, well, stop here, okay? Well, that's very difficult because there's already the momentum. So the red angiotensin, you're kind of going in between. And then what happens is they, they have this rebound hypertension, so they have orthostatics because they can't tolerate it. It's for much more difficult. So that's why you don't start at ARBs right at first, because they have orthostatics with them. Where ACE inhibitors, they don't, generally, right away. Okay. Um, what else? E, 
electrolytes. Okay, which ones? K, king, king high. So potassium high with ACE inhibitors. So we worry about that with ACE inhibitors. So patients who are like spironolactone, you might hold that medication um, because of the potassium might be high. And then, um, what else? So ACE kink high, angioedema, cough, electrolytes, potassium high. Other main reasons for um, problems with ACE inhibitors. Another issue with ACE inhibitors is like captopril. Captopril I call craptopril. And craptopril because it leaves a bad taste in their mouth. So they need to take that with um, food. So they don't like that. So blech. Mad. Okay, so let me teach you something here. This is called a whales, and a whales is a way that you can dissect a medication. And how we do that is is that we first define on the a is it acute or is it chronic? We already said that it's chronic unless it's acute with angioedema and potassium. Ace king, hi. How does it work? That's the renin angiotensin system. We talked about that. Um, when do we hold it? H. When do you hold it? Well, if they have angioedema, if they have a cough, you're going to switch them. What's the assessment? You're assessing for angioedema. You're assessing for cough. You're assessing potassiums. Okay. Are there any labs associated with an L? Yes, potassium. So that's that fishbone here, covered in another lecture. Potassium. And we're worried about it being high. Well, what about eating? Is there any problem with eating with this? Yeah, well, craptopril, you know, gives a bad taste in the mouth. So they're going to have to eat that with some food or something like that. Otherwise, lisinopril doesn't really do that. Um, potassium, they, they don't have to worry about potassium, you know, because it's a chronic med. However, they still have risk for it. And then what stands out? S. Stands out is, uh, what stands out when you think about ACE inhibitors? Well, you don't give them give it to them if they have angioedema. Um, that's acute. You call the doctor for that. A cough, you change over to um, an ARB. Uh, electrolytes, you're going to monitor the potassium. And um, craptopril, you would have to take that with food, and that's what stands out. That's my cardiac medication. My name, name is Nursing Camp. These are my scribble notes, or nursing notes for what you can call them. I'm on Pinterest, and, um, Facebook, and also nursingcamp.com and Instagram. So, say hello. This is from my um, study sheet on uh, orthostatic uh, ACE inhibitors, and ARBs. Um, you can get that on Pinterest and also Instagram. We'll see you next time. Nurse on and be that nurse um, because anybody can be that nurse. We'll see you next time.